Welcome back to Runaway Trains. Today I just want to talk about these flats that we have here, these kind of industries that are in the distance here on our layout. This is kind of a fun project we came up with after watching SoCal Model Trains, I think his name is. But he talks about having industries along the tracks there and using maybe some of that foam core board to create like the facade of a building, you know, when you're down low and you just see kind of that two-dimensional look, you can't really see behind the building. It actually is helping us to cover up some of those like cracks there that we have in our background. But I'll show you what we did. We were at our local train store this week and they had one of these packs, this uh, design preservation models. And this one in particular was this cutting scissor company. It's like a used kit for 20 bucks and I thought, you know, this would be perfect for us to use. Maybe we could take the bigger portions of the building and paint them and then just apply them to the layout. And what I did is I just took a brush and some brown and brick red color paint, mixed it together and just quickly ran through the whole thing with it. And then I took a paper towel and just dabbed it off. And you can kind of see how you get that sort of uneven weathered look that I, don't, I wouldn't even know how to do that. I just stumbled across experimenting. And then like with our doors, you know, I just wiped off the paint real good. And because the plastic is white, it kind of like shows through some of the wood grain there. And then down the bottom, I just pretended like these are areas that maybe the workers touched or handled or stepped on or spilled stuff over the years. So you can kind of see a little grime on the doors there and underneath where stuff maybe spilled off of the trucks or whatever that we're unloading. Uh, from the dock there. So you just got to use your imagination. If you do come across one of these kits, I would suggest go ahead and get it. You know, we got two pretty cool buildings out of that. And then, of course, we have the other smaller pieces, which we may use for another project. But that's our hack today. Thanks for watching Runaway Trains. We'll see you guys on the next one.